what's up people we back at it again with mesco batman supreme knight the px edition and the px is he has a different color scheme than the normal edition we got gold around the bat emblem navy blue with gray so um overall this is a pretty solid figure like i like this guy he's real good um just like shadow batman i just want to tell y'all guys you know off the rip they gave him the the magnetic uh neck joint system now whatever you want to call that system that's what they gave him also just like shadow so it's going to be easier to swap in between the cape with a wire in it and the cape that does not have the wire in it so to do that you just pretty much just pop his head his neck all the way off you place this on like so easy peasy and this is what the head, the head looks like little magnet in the bottom of it and yes this is still two pieces so you can swap out those um, swap out those heads that Mesco gave us came with two additional heads unmasked and one head that looks like he's I think it's supposed to be like his his er like his growling kind of face but it it looks like he's laughing um as a matter of fact while I'm talking about that let me just let me just show you guys and again see the belt keeps coming loose every time I pose them or move them around the belt comes loose I might just super glue that but let me show y'all that head I was telling you about it's right here so this is the head where I'm kind of unsure what to call this expression. It looks like he's growling, but at the same time, it looks like a like a sinister kind of sick, sadistic kind of a um, smile. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> die, die slowly, you know, something like that. But it's got great detail. Of course, I mean, we're talking about Mexico, so it's got great detail, but I'm um, I don't know that's like a little sick little smile like a smirk but eh whatever and while we're at it I'll just go ahead and show you the other head so we got the old man Brucey head good color salt and pepper hair he's stressed out that's why his hair looks like that fighting crime in Goblin City it's just not easy you'll go gray really quick I'm actually surprised at this point Batman is just not bald head. <laughs> but um, back to the fig, back to the fig. Great detail all around the neck, all around. We got this shiny metallic colored cape, which is cool. And his wired cape is exactly the same. So clearly this is not the wired cape. This is the, I don't know what you want to call it, regular flexi cape loose cape what are you going to call that that's what it is so um if you have a mask of batman this batman pretty much follows the exact same articulation scheme or has like the exact same articulation points with um one exception though because of his because of his boots and how thick they are hold on a second let me just show you that they got some really good detail man it's like they got battle damage good paint I just, I love that navy blue color. But anyway, because of the way his boots are shaped, sculpted, whatever, his ankle movement, see that? That tilt is almost like non existent. And then going from front to back, you got a little bit. So what that does is it gets in the way of um, dynamic posing, you know? So that's what that's, that's, that's what that is going to stop. There is no toe bend because the boots have these great little designs on the bottom of them. You can even see that. There it is. Tread. I mean, they go all out when it comes to Batman. And really, all their figures. I mean, Batman and Mesco, it's like a match made in heaven. But anyway, so the shoulder twists. Got that bicep swivel. It's in there. So it swivels like at the shoulder. And there's a small little butterfly inside there. And it does swivel right there at the shoulder. So that's cool. And the gauntlet moves around a tiny bit also so that gives a little more motion and the fists well the fists do what they do they punch <laughs> the wrist moves a little bit too same same old you know mezco batman articulation but his front crunching movement i'll show you the side view 
not much front crunch his bendy forward is not that great but surprisingly i don't know what it is but the bendy back is a lot probably because he's dodging punches <laughs> you can't touch me i'm batman where's the bomb joker anyway so that's that raise that up about that high due to the suit of course so always be careful at those scenes man don't want to stress it out a little bit you know too too much going back about like that stretch marks going forward stretch marks stretch marks so be careful he's only limited by his suit and by his bulk Urgh, flex on him anyway the belt looks very very nice let's see if I can give you guys all a good look at that belt that's a holster actually so that's cool get a good look at that belt and look and again it has come a loose it went back in quickly by itself that time but it came a loose again so that's that belt the belt looks nice and of course it'll look better with some black wash baby all right so the thigh look at that got some cut at the top double jointed on the knees there's that pleather right there so don't do too much double jointing them knees because that pleather will crack on you over time of course and at the top of that boot the boots with the fur uh, a little bit of movement not not too too much so don't rely on that for much of anything but it is there so let's talk about the one million accessories that he came with now nah, i'm not joking but it came with a lot you know batman has to come with a lot of accessories and that's what they did they gave this guy a lot of accessories so i'm gonna bring that box up or should i say the tray right now so besides the wire cape which i already told you guys about when you get batman he'll come with these accessories right so we got a zillion battle rings and i'm kind of happy they gave us so many battle rings because they are so tiny it i mean it's almost impossible to keep up with them unless you unless you keep them in that tray so that's cool we got the 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 battle rings that are actually glued together the three um not sure what to call this bad boy but let me show you guys this one because this weapon is real unique now i'm going to fight with the camera to keep it focused but this camera is i mean this camera this weapon is real unique because it collapses and it collapses on purpose right so we could probably hold it like that hold it like that get some jabs in get some stabby stabbies in and then it just it goes back together so there's like a tiny tiny groove let's see oh the camera did get it nice there's a tiny groove and a tiny little slot you put that back in there and then it locks in place see that and you just snap it in and i promise i put on lotion if you see the white stuff around my nails <laughs> but uh it's got some nice weathering good detail so we got that weapon anyway bring it on back we got the giant batarang some grappling hook attachments to go into his guns there i'm sorry there there and there we have an um a weapon another weapon that's these these three plug into those two all right so the old man head where he's all this, we call this the stressed out head and a sick and twisted smile he has all of his hands they have that same nice paint that ni same nice color scheme all on them right and um like i said before he came with the wire cape and a yellow batman logo stand so overall he's a great batman like i said mezco and batman are like a match made in heaven um oh one last thing let's see how tall he is piece of spider-man boom so looking at these two guys let's line them up on the feet i know i do this in a weird way but like i said i'm not like a regular reviewer i just kind of just like just talk about the figs he is taller than piece of spider-man look at that yes he is taller than piece of spider-man so if you're worried about will this scale well with my marvel legends yes it will scale well with your marvel legends even though it's a dc batman look at that look he gave you for saying that don't be saying that yeah it scales well but do i like them of course i have like a hundred mezco batmans 
not a hundred, but I think I have almost all of them. A good amount. Um, oh, one last thing. We forgot to check his jaw Claude Van Damme. You know, we can't end a video without checking the jaw Claude Van Damme, but you gotta be careful because that, there it is. Don't wanna stress out that suit too, too much. But let's see what we can do though. All right, I don't feel too much stress there. But wow, much to my surprise, his jaw Claude Van Damme is good, amigos. Yeah, look at that. I just mixed up a bunch of accents right there. Anyway, so look at the belt. Again, the belt front to back is looking like that. He's jumping over bad guys, jumping over cars, jumping over Alfred like it's no thing. Um, it's got a bit of a bulge there. I guess that's cool if, uh, you know, uh, we'll leave that alone. Give you guys a good look at the suit and the stitching on the back the boots all that great detail on the front and let's get this out the way check out that bat logo so i think at this point you guys probably have a good idea if you want to get this fig or not i would say yeah yeah definitely right and the belt again i'm about to just you know what Look, where's the super glue? I gotta super glue that. I'm out, guys. Have a good night. See you.